The second function of an operating system is to manage the computer's main memory, that is, the random access memory, or RAM for short. When you launch an application by clicking a menu item, or an icon, or indeed by typing a command, the program code is copied from secondary storage, such as your hard drive or SSD, and loaded into the RAM. The application is now set to be running, and its programs can now be executed by the CPU. Part of the operating system itself is always running. A set of programs called the kernel are responsible for crucial functions like memory management and multitasking, so these were loaded from secondary storage into the RAM when the computer started up. Whenever you launch an application, it's up to the operating system to work out how much space it will need in the RAM, and exactly where in the RAM it should go. The operating system will also make sure that the running programs don't intrude on each other's memory space. Data that are currently being used are also allocated memory space. If you're running a word processor, for example, and you create a new document, the operating system will find a place for it somewhere in the RAM. And of course, if you have multiple files open at once, they will all need to be allocated memory space. The operating system keeps track of which files belong to which applications. When you close a file or exit an application, the operating system will ensure that the memory they were using is freed up and made available for something else. When the RAM is getting particularly full and you try to launch another program, there may not be enough room for it. Arguably it's time to get some more memory for your computer, or to stop trying to do too much at once. But until you do, the operating system has a trick up its sleeve. If an application is running, but the user hasn't interacted with it for a while, some or all of its programs will be moved automatically out of the RAM to a special reserved area of secondary storage called swap space. To be clear, this is not the same as closing the application down. It is simply paused temporarily so that something else can take its place in memory. When that paused application is needed again, the operating system will very quickly swap it back into the RAM so it can pick up from where it left off. This is much quicker than having to reload it from scratch. Supplementing the RAM with secondary storage like this is called virtual memory. The user is generally unaware that this kind of memory juggling is going on behind the scenes. Unless it's happening a lot. Secondary storage is much slower than RAM, particularly if you have a magnetic hard drive rather than a solid-state drive. Excessive swapping can result in a problem called disk threshing, and it can make the computer feel very slow indeed. In summary, running programs are allocated memory space by the operating system. Data that are currently being used are also allocated memory space by the operating system. If you have a file open, it's occupying space too. When you close a document or exit an application, the operating system will ensure that the memory is freed up. When the RAM is getting particularly full, it can be supplemented with virtual memory.